If you don't know the difference between smart meters and energy monitors, you're not alone. Many people are baffled by the differences. In our survey of nearly 2,400 witch members, we found that one in three people thought they were the same thing. So, we've hit the streets of London to find out if anyone can explain the differences. Can you tell me the difference between smart meters and energy monitors? Um, smart meter and energy meters? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Really know. I mean, the, the name sounds explanatory, but I don't really know if I'm honest. No. I guess, is the smart meter something that reads the energy output in your household or something? I don't know. Uh, no. I don't really know. No. I guess they're using some kind of fuzzy logic, some probability type thing, rather than being very exact. But I don't know. What do you think a smart meter might I be? I would imagine it would monitor your usage of uh, energy or electricity and perhaps give you some information that would be useful to work out your bills or how to make it cheaper or something. So it seems that confusion is pretty widespread. Here's our quick guide to the differences between the two. Firstly, let's start with energy monitors. These are the simple handheld or tabletop devices that show you a good estimate of the amount of electricity you're using in real time. They cost around £40, or you can get them free from some energy suppliers, and you can install them yourself. Here I've got some examples of energy monitors from OWL and British Gas. Energy monitors usually consist of three parts, a handheld visual display unit, a transmitter, and a sensor which clips onto the power cable that comes out of your electricity meter. Most energy monitors allow you to view your real-time electricity usage in cost, kilowatt hours, or carbon emissions. Plus, some have additional features, like allowing you to set daily targets for your usage. Energy monitors are designed to help you keep track of your electricity usage, and hopefully reduce it, so you can cut your energy bills. The ones on the market at the moment don't track your gas usage, and they can't communicate with your energy supplier. But, smart meters can. Let's pop outside to take a look at a smart meter in action. Smart meters, like this one here, are high-tech meters that will soon replace your existing gas and electricity meters. They are much more sophisticated than energy monitors as they will accurately measure your gas and electricity usage and, most importantly, they'll send regular meter readings to your energy supplier. This means instead of estimated bills, every bill will be an accurate one. Smart meters also offer extra possibilities for the future, such as improved time of day tariffs. Plus, they'll make it easier to sell your own micro-generated electricity from solar panels or a wind turbine to the national grid. Unlike energy monitors, you can't install smart meters by yourself. They need to be fitted by your energy company. Between now and 2020, the government wants to roll out smart meters across the country at a cost of around £10 billion. But, as you can see, some energy companies have started installing them already. Most smart meters will come with handheld visual display units, which, like energy monitors, will help you monitor and reduce your electricity usage. But the figures will be exact, and they'll also let you monitor and reduce your gas usage, so you can make even greater savings on your bills. Visit witch.co.uk to see our full guide on smart meters and energy monitors and to find out which energy monitors we rate as best buys.